Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel that's arrived today. Uh, this one's got a little bit battered, but that's okay as long as everything inside's okay. And I think there's a couple of boxes in here as well, so that's keeping things nice and safe. Okay, so this parcel has been sent to me by the great people at fgnormal.com. Um, again, they asked if I would like some products to show my channel. I said, yes, of course, I love showing their products. So I've got some of the new things that came out when I was doing my order. So let's have a look and see what we've got this time. So we have, oh, a pink thing. It's not hot pink, but it's pink. We have da, 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 a box. I do like these new little boxes that they're bringing out. And then we have another box. Okay. So what shall we look at first? Uh, let's look at the pink thing first. So this is a new style storage box that they've brought out. And they come in different colours. And this one does want to come out of the packet. And we have a little drawer. Oh! I'll see if you open it the right way around, Liz. <laughs> do you know, on everything I do, if there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it, I will always do it the wrong way. So these are little slots. Sorry, little dividers that go in these slots here. And let me just pop that in there. Has that one gone in? I can't see with it being so nice and clear. So can you see there, we've got three compartments and I thought these were good. Still haven't got it in straight. We were all shouting at me saying, Liz, it's not in straight. <laughs> so I was thinking that these might be quite nice. You know, when you're doing your small special drill ones and they come pre-bagged, um, you could just stand your little bags up in there. You just take your drills out as you need them. But I think that's quite good. It's quite a nice build. It is that uh, rigid plastic though, or acrylic. So you do need to be careful not to drop these. It's more of a note to self, actually, that, because you know what I'm like. <laughs> right, so then, if, I think that must go. Does it go that way? So that's open at the top. I suppose you could have it that way. And then they all stack up. You probably need more than one, really. Um, they've put it that way up. Uh, and it's got like feet on the bottom does this go in both ways then it actually came yeah actually it goes in better that way so it is supposed to be that way up with them um, just the clear bottom i do like the fact that the sides are clear sorry a bit of a glare there oops um because that's gonna let you see what's in it so yeah, but quite a nice little drawer. I think this one was 3 99 I'll put the details and I'll pop them down below in the description as well. Just looking what that says. I think that's just manufacturer details on there. So you've got little spikes on the top. I suppose it's not really. Does the drawer still open when it's flat down? Yes, it does. So, yeah. I just thought these were a bit different. You know, I love my star edge and I like to try anything new. And these have popped up and I thought, oh, they're quite good. And it looks as though we've got like little um, edges here that possibly slot into the next one. Yeah, it looks like they will do. Because they're like, um, they've got like a groove going in there. And then they're like a bit sticking out. So I think these will all slot together. So you can have quite a nice little storage system. Or for your wax, or for your washi tape. Um, and the fact that we've got removable little dividers is a good idea as well. Let me just see whether they're actually wide enough for a diamond painting pen. Um, yes, not if you... Oops, let me just pull that out again. Not if you're uh, putting it there or you've got your longer pens, but just your standard pens, then that's pretty good. Mm. You could put all your dividers and things in there as well. So what about a ballpoint pen then? Let's have a look at a ballpoint pen. Uh, no, not quite. Well, I suppose if you put it sideways, but you can get your diamond painting pens in. Uh, yeah, I do like my handy little storage. And I thought, oh, that's a new one that they've brought out. And as I say, it was pink. So what could I say? It just had to come my way. So that is that one. Big thank you to FG Normal for sending me all these. Let me just put these back in where they go. Yeah, no, that one's not in. Look, 
I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it actually is. Um, I'm sure you'll get on a lot better than I am. It is just literally that my eyesight is not brilliant. I'm something that's clear. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I still haven't got that one in. Oh, Liz, what are you like? Now it's in. We're all uh, all ship shape and Bristol fashion, as it were. And yeah, I like the little handle there as well. It's a shame it's quite so dented in because you're just taking up quite a bit of the uh, shape there. But again, if you're wanting cover minders, wax, anything like that in there, in multi place, it's a really good idea. So, new storage. Liking those. Okay. There are quite a few special offers on at FG Normal at the moment. Uh, if you spend over £29, it is free shipping. We all like free shipping. Uh, if you add four items to your cart, you'll get one free. And there is an 8% off at the moment as well. So do go and check out that website and have a look at those offers. As I always say, the offers are uh, on as I've made this video this morning. So if you're looking in a couple of months' time, the offer may have changed. But always go and check out just in case. So these, oh look at that, I'm so eager to get into these. I'm showing you it before I've even finished speaking about what I was talking about before. But that's just me. Why well, say one word when you can say 36 at once? <laughs> oh, do you know what? These are actually like a little set. So I'm going to open this one as well. You may have seen these on the website, but there's a new Christmassy ones coming out. And I love Christmas. I'm sorry if you don't like Christmas or you're not keen on Christmas or it's not a happy time for you. But unfortunately, or fortunately for me, I love Christmas. So I've got two new little wooden figures. Well, I say little, they're not all that little, are they? I reckon they're about eight or nine inches, maybe an eight inch. I'm loving doing all the smashing special six. So I thought, right, I'm going to start getting Christmas ones as they come out now and I see them. Because I don't know about you, but I'm terrible. I see things and I think, oh, I'll get that next week or I'll get that next month when it's a bit closer. And then when I come to look for it, when I want to go and get it, it's not there anymore. Uh, we're definitely in this household now, buying things as we see them. Uh, we're not sort of like thinking, oh, I'll get this one in a couple of months' time. Because invariably, whenever we do that, it's not there. So now yeah, we are trying to uh, get things as we see them. Uh, funds allowing, of course. Okay, so I opened this one first. I so want to have a look at the snowman first. Okay, if you, if you uh, have a look on my playlist, <clears throat> if you have a look on my playlist, uh, you will see Christmas from last year and see how Santa Scrotter my house looked. It was absolutely covered in diamond painting decorations and lights and pretty things. So, yeah, I thought, well, I've just got to add a few more to the collection this year. So this is an exceptionally happy snowman. So it always makes me laugh, a snowman having a scarf and gloves on it. It's just really, really funny. This one's got a big snowflake next to him as well. And he's got a sign, which I can't quite read. I think it possibly... I need to do it first before I can see it. Let me see if I can try. It might say snow. Or it might... Actually, it might say love. I'll see if I can find it on the website and have a look and see what it says. But yeah, I love these wooden ones. I love the fact that I can drop these and they don't break quite as easily as acrylic things. Because as you know, I'm exceptionally clumsy. Uh, it's three layers of wood and it's got a nice dark edging on this as well. So really good. Lovely clear drill fits. But look at that lovely little happy smiley face there. With his big carrot nose. Yeah. And he's got little rosy cheeks. Thinking it might say love snow. Hmm. I don't think it says stop here because it's not big enough. But to be fair, um, because it's brown and then it's just red on it, you could probably put a child's name on there. Obviously, if it's not too long, um, I could get Liz on there, but I certainly won't get Elizabeth on. <laughs> not in gems anyway. Um, it's because it's a nice little stand. But again, these stands are all less uh, quite a smallish footprint so yeah but nice size that okay let's give him a quick measure i'm saying it's a him because he's got a top hat on but uh, yeah ladies can wear top hats as well if you go to the um, steampunk festivals gosh ladies wear uh, really posh top hats 
Okay, so this is about six and a half, six and a quarter centimetre inches, and it's about 16 centimetres. And on top of his hat to his base is about 20 centimetres, which is well, just under eight inches. So, a nice little size. Okay, we've got our pen butt and the wax as usual. And then let's have a look at these ones. Okay, ooh. Oh, we've got some large black ones there. Looks like these are going to be his buttons down his front, number nine, and his eyes as well. So that's nice. I like it when they put just larger drills on for their eyes and things because just sort of like fits in and makes it sparkle a little bit more. And I have got my white felt tip pen that when you get just a solid black eye, I do like to just put one little white dot, a tiny little white dot just as a highlight just makes him look a bit more smiley okay so we have in the drills a standard black and a lovely emerald green and a very Christmassy red oh green's gonna be a scarf and lots of lots of silver so you're going to be a silver snowman you could always swap that out for a plain white or a white AB and that's actually what I might do sort of to differentiate between the snowman and uh, the snow, I might do one in say A, B and then do one in the crystal or I might do the snowman in the crystal um, and then his cuffs on his little sleeves here or on his mittens uh, and then the snow and the snowflake in uh, A, B white. I think that would look probably quite good. Yeah, I think that would look quite good. Then we've got the lovely orange for his carroty nose. And some brown for the sign, a little bit of pink for his rosy cheeks and a little bit of blue for the shading and for his little snowflake. Actually, that's strange. They've got blue shading, um, but it's actually all the number fours there. So we'll see what that looks like as well. But yeah, really nice colours and a really happy one. But quite good as if you want in that younger people to do it with you. Or if somebody's wanting to start diamond painting, say, well, do you fancy doing uh, one of your own little Christmas decorations? It's a real good way in to get into diamond painting. Okay, and the price of that one at the moment is £4.99. So, yeah, for something that you're going to have the pleasure of, sorry, the car's just arrived next door, crunching over the gravel. Uh, for something that you're going to have a lot of pleasure uh, making yourself, either for yourself or to uh, give as a present to somebody. And then you can just put it away and bring it out year after year. So, yeah, I like it, that one. And I do put mine away and bring them out year after year. I've had them quite a few years, so let's put him there so we can see him smiling away at us. So now then, let's see Santa or Father Christmas. And again, he was four ninety nine. Look, we have our standard kit, pen butt and wax and a lovely smiley Santa. He's got a very big red nose, this one. <laughs> Not quite sure about that. I might have to change that gem out because he, he looks a little bit like Rudolph with a big red nose. Um, but I suppose it is quite cold, so maybe he needs... Uh, a nose warmer or something anyway uh, i may change that i don't know we'll see what it looks like when i get it done but i just thought it was so lovely traditional christmasy colors with your red green and gold and then we've just got this little bit of blue here just to offset it but he's got his boots and his little traditional outfit on here as well and he's got a little sign that says merry christmas now i don't think that's going to show up because although it says merry christmas um, the gems are just sort of like all around it so whether that'll actually stand out I'm not quite sure but again you could always put somebody's name on there if they've got just a few letters in the name uh, you can always change that out and put something else on it if you want to oh I'm not sure and he said do you know my camera must have come down uh, it's a few days since I've done any filming and I think the camera's a lot lower today. I'm going to have to uh, try and put it up a bit higher again because uh, as I'm holding things up, things are just disappearing off the edge of the camera. <laughs> hey, I never said I was a professional at this. Right, so let's have a look at these. Okay, so that is the huge gem for his nose look. Oh, I don't know. That. Oh, actually, no, no, that doesn't look so bad now I'm looking at it. 
No, I think that is okay because it's a non-faceted one and it's quite a flat um, semi-sphere. So it's not a really big round gem. Um, it's quite a flattish one. And I think with these eyes having the gems, I think the children have just come home next door. <laughs> <laughs> and the mouth. <laughs> hey dear, do I ever do a video of these days where it's not interruption, but it is the school holidays. So yeah, actually I think that's gonna look really good. So no, I won't be changing that out. I think that's fine. Okay, let's give him a quick measure. He's a, a very nice Santa, as I say. So he is 22 centimetres, which is about eight and a half ish inches by about ooh, 15 and a half ish centimeters six ish inches yeah we're sort of round about that size i'm not uh, measuring to the exact millimeter if you don't want to know exact sizes i can always measure it um for you but you know i just like to give you a rough idea because i have got quite big hands so sometimes things look fairly smallish next to me <laughs> big hands and big feet okay so let's have a look at these lovely crystal gems so we've got a lovely lemony gold and a christmasy red and that's like a very very pale lemon very nice like that one and a little bit of pale blue and a silver standard silver and standard acrylic black there and a nice Christmassy green and another little bit of blue and a little bit darker blue and a little bit of peachy gold. So, so what colours is that Santa's face then? Because it looks very, very red. Number 10. Oh, so that's Santa's face then. So although it looks very, very red and pink on this, it's actually sort of this peachy colour. So, yeah, I thought he was um, looking a bit flushed from the cold, but no, I think uh, he's going to look a little bit toned down with that. So that's OK. Yeah, we like that. And uh, the parcel is going to be a couple of different blues. And then this very pale blue here, I think, is the highlighting. Or is it that one over there? Nope, scrap that. This is the highlighting, number eight, just around here. We have a little bit of four up there and then a little bit of eight around there as well. So that's all your shading. And yeah, and number two is his sign and also his jacket, his hat and his trousers. So what I might do, because this one had a slightly different red in it, didn't it? that a different red yeah that's a slightly different shade of red so i may do the sign um in a different color and the parcels in a different color i like to get a bit more contrast i know why they don't put um every little last color in these because obviously you know it would just be lots and lots of small bags and that adds to the cost and you know for 4.99 these are very good value you, you don't want hundreds of different types of gems uh, to make it a higher cost so but if you have got other gems say in other kits like this one you can mix and match them there's nothing to stop you doing that and um, i would always say finish the kit off as you want it first before you start raiding your others just in case you you end up running out but yeah i think they're a gorgeous little set <laughs> Oh, he does look funny with that uh, nose like that. Do you know, I think I'm going to have to put his nose on. And, uh, yeah, because I just keep looking at this big number 11 right in the middle of his face. So let's put his little nose on. Oh, he does look better with his nose. Oh, he looks a lot better with his nose. <laughs> and, yeah, they're a nice little set. As I say, I'm going to have one at one side and one at the other. Maybe make a little scene with them. Albeit I've got so many, um, my mantelpiece isn't big enough, so I might have to start going in and borrowing next doors. <laughs> I think these stands mix and match. Let me just double check. Yeah, I would suggest sealing these as well once you've done them, because if you are going to put them away for next year, it would be a shame to spend all that time uh, 
doing them, putting all the drills on and getting them all looking nice. And then you find that you lean something up against them or something pushes them and uh, the gems can push off with uh, a bit of force applied to them. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's always worth sealing it so that uh, nothing comes off. And also, if you've got, say, pets or whatever, can end up with bits of fluff or bits of hair stuck in between your gems, which isn't a great look. So, yeah, it's always worth just giving them a little bit of a seal. Okay, and as I say, I mean, the sealant that goes over the top of your gems, not yet. Ooh, 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 seal. <laughs> just a couple of items this time but very much fun uh, let's just pop these drills back in the packet well you have to remember that that one's missing but i think i'll realize it's on his nose after uh, smashing the specials is finished i was thinking about doing um some just standard kits but then i'm getting all these nice christmassy things in and i'm thinking oh do i want to start doing standard kits i don't want to carry on with my christmas things and i really don't know <laughs> Okay, well, I say a huge thank you to FG Normal for sending me these. I love my little ornament, my little snowman, my little Santa. I don't know which one I like best. I think I maybe like the Santa. Now he's got his nose on and I've got used to the nose looking like that. I think I do like him. And yeah, I do like the snowman. He's a bit more of a retro snowman, isn't he? He's, um, you know, a bit more stylized with a pointed hat more and a pointed nose. He's not like the squidgy soft ones that you see, uh, but he's still very, very cute. And then a new little storage box, which is very handy. I've got bits and pieces all over the place, uh, but I do like the fact that these will stack and you can put them all together. So, yeah, great. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up as always is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you don't want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.